I packed up the entire family and we left Miami. How do you say goodbye to a place that is tied to your identity? In a crazy year, with a growing family, we are ready to trade the hustle and bustle for some peace and quiet. We're trying to sneak our way to this back pond, and there's some trails through the grass. We're trying to figure out what made these trails. He looks so small, but that's a pretty good sized head. With another baby on the way, we decided it's time to change things up. We wanted a slower paced life, so we started searching. We looked around different areas in the state that we would like. Uh, it led us here. To be honest, uh, so far we love it. My wife was a little anxious at first, a little nervous. But after being here for two days, she says she was never moving back to Miami. With the help of friends and family, a lot of hard work and a lot of Cuban coffee. We are finally settling in. Forgive me for taking two months off of YouTube. I've done a little bit of exploring around town and I'm excited to get back to work. I met up with Al Blades, who happens to live nearby. We would do a lot of fishing together, get into some tarpon, some snook, and whatever else we could find. You got any flies at the bar or not? Just trying to see if there's a wake or a push or something. So I'm seeing a, a bunch of tarpons starting to roll now. <laughs> Hasn't jumped yet, so it's probably a snook. Yep. And there's gonna black in the water. And try again. I've always found this scene to be a bit corny, but as they say, a minor setback for a major comeback. Thank you all from the Estrada family. You are repeated, repeated.